views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Reclaim your power and learn to live your most amazing life with Mike Murphy Unfiltered Radio. Unfettered, unflinching, unafraid. Tune in every Thursday from noon to 2 Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Mike explores authentic and relevant truth and powerful conversations with some of the world's most renowned game changers. This hit show taps the dynamic principles of the creation frequency to unleash unlimited infinite potential and guide you to manifesting the highest possibilities of your heart. Level up your life and rewire your programming. Think new thoughts and create true freedom. Let's expand energy, build true health and explosive frequency consciousness together. Powerful people, powerful conversations, powerful listeners. Infinite possibilities, fostering peace and joy with an unfiltered heart. Now, here's Mike Murphy, Unfiltered. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mike Murphy Unfiltered Show, and I'm Mike Murphy, coming to you live from beautiful La Quinta, California, where finally we have some warmth, and I hope wherever you are, the weather is getting better and warmer, and we can get ready for uh, springtime and a beautiful summer. It's been a long winter down here in uh, the desert, so anyways, welcome to the show. We have such a great show today. I've been researching uh, and planning this show for the last 24 hours, and I am blown away by the quality of our two guests that we have today. It's going to be a fun and exciting show. Um, and remember, our mission in this show is to bring you information that you are probably too busy uh, to really vet and research and get to the truth. It's so difficult to difficult in today's world to discern the truth. You know, you have people that are spotting problems and bringing that uh, to our attention, and then you have the people that are making the money with these products or technology or or food or whatever. And, and so they counterbalance that with probably disinformation a lot of the time. So, so for us that we're just catching sound bites here and there or reading a headline or a small article there, it's really hard to get and discern the truth. So that's what this show is all about to bring you what's going on in the world today. And there's a lot of things that can, can hurt our health, the health of our children and our loved ones. Uh, and our financial health and our emotional health and just the world is speeding up and getting crazy. So, so I, t- I have extra time. So I take that time and I research and I vet and I find out what's going on for my own sake, for my own health and the health of my family and, and the financial health of me and my family. And then we bring that information to you. And I, I hope we do a really good job of vetting it and bringing you the best people with the best information. Um, and remember, we're sponsored. We only have one sponsor and we're sponsored by... Uh, the Creation Frequency, which is a book that I wrote, and you know I, I'm not going to tout myself, but go to Amazon, read the reviews, see what people are saying, and then for more information, go to MikeMurphyUnfiltered.com. Just hit the Creation Frequency tab, and we also have a beautiful online course, and we have a free app, and people are dramatically changing the quality of their life by reading this book, taking the course, and and recording their intentions and listening every day. So, so I encourage you to do that. Um, so to topics today is our, our first guest is a beautiful woman named Sue Busen. And I was introduced to her about four or five years ago uh, and uh, got to know her just on a very little bit. But in researching her in the last 24 hours, she's an amazing woman and she's written an incredible book on smart meters, 5G, electromagnetic frequency, what all that's doing to us. And, and she's going to give us great advice. She's not anti-technology. She's just pro-health. And so if we're going to use this stuff, let's do it and let's protect our health. And this is a super big issue. Um, So I'm excited to get into and talk to her about that. Then our second hour, we're going to bring in Dr. Robert Young. And he wrote an amazing book called The PH Miracle. I think it sold five or six million copies. And there's like over 600 Amazon reviews, four and a half stars. So he's probably one of the smartest guys I've ever met and talked to, especially when it comes to nutrition. And if you or anybody in your world is dealing with cancer, I encourage you to get them to tune on, tune in around one o'clock today. We're going to bring Dr. Robert Young and he's going to get in. He's got a new book called the pH miracle for cancer. And he, 
I just admire this guy. He is so smart. You're going to learn so much. And, and I believe, you know, in all my research and study that the cancer does not need to be a death sentence. In fact, it's curable. And so we're going to talk to Dr. Young about that. And of course, I'm not a doctor and, you know, no, we're not, I'm not touting anything here. Always rely on your own doctor and your own health experts. And, but, but also feel free to use your own brain and, and your own gut intuition, if you will. So I'm super excited about today's show and what's going on. And I'm excited about, you know, this is our fourth episode now, and the feedback's been tremendous, so thank you for that. Uh, people are buying the course, so thank you for that. And remember, um, when people buy the course, and I'll explain later at the end of this hour, uh, we donate uh, most half, more than half that money to a nonprofit foundation that works with women below the poverty line while they're battling cancer. And we also support uh, at-risk youth and teach them real job skills so that they can go out and make the community a much better place. So super excited about today's show. Super excited to be with you. I encourage you to uh, check out the creation frequency. And more importantly, not for me, but what if it can do for you? When you fully understand the law of attraction and you fully understand how this powerful subconscious mind, this supercomputer located somewhere, is, it, how it can work for us, and can also work against us. And when you really understand how to use this tool to bring into your physical reality what you truly desire, you know, we talk a lot about moving from the head to the heart. This is your real self. This is your essence, your soul, your truth. This, in my opinion, can sometimes be a bit of an insane asylum. And what I've found in my life is that when I live here, I get a lousy thought, creates a lousy feeling, and what do we want? We just want to feel good. So then I'll do something to get rid of this lousy feeling. And a lot of times what I'm going to do to get rid of this lousy feeling isn't serving my higher self. You know, I might take the drink or, or gambling or some sort of bad habit that's going to change my state so I don't feel bad. And so what I've discovered in my life the past 35 years is that when I live here and I create my intentions and my desires and I listen to this and my gut, okay, then I get... I get what, why I'm here. What's my purpose? Why am I here? Why am I in this physical reality right now at this specific time? And, and what am I supposed to be doing? And so when I get here and I, and I ask those questions and the answers will come, that's the key. You ask these questions and you will get answers, believe me. And, and so then I get the answers. Then I use, okay, the conscious mind and the sub, I reprogram the subconscious mind and I tell it what I want. Here's the magic, folks. The sub, come, subconscious mind doesn't judge. It's going to give you what it thinks you truly desire. So if I'm walking around all day and saying, my life sucks, everything's always going wrong, I just can't accomplish anything, that subconscious mind and yours, which is taking in one million bits of information every second, okay, and then going through them quickly, okay, and then delivers 40 um, bits of information to the conscious mind because that's all it can handle, it's going to give me more stuff that makes me a failure, but when I tell that subconscious mind that I'm a winner, I'm successful, and I'm just killing life with all these great ideas and this great uh, whatever I want to do, whether it's money-making opportunities or serving others, whatever it is I want to do, and I tell it specifically what I want to do. Now, every second, that supercomputer is going through those million bits of information, looking for 40 bits of information that will support my desire. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how everything comes into the physical reality. Everything. Everything starts with a desire and then a thought, and then we combine that and we create a vision, and then that vision comes into our physical reality. Everything from this pen to this microphone, these headphones, no matter what it was, that's how it came into the physical reality. And once you understand this, then you can literally create miracles in your life. You can really create shifts and changes and get rid of bad habits and then create really good habits that always support this, support great health and great financial wealth and great abundance and, and great relationships and fun. You know, what's wrong with a little fun in this crazy world we live in, right? So, so I encourage you to go to Mike Murphy Unfiltered, hit the creation frequency uh, link, read the reviews on Amazon, see what people are saying. I promise you, your life can only get better. And it does require a lot of, a little bit of work. I almost said a lot, but a, a good deal of work. And, and consistency and sticking to it, and you will, I promise you, create a better life. So we're going to take a short break, and when I come back, we're going to introduce you to Sue Busen, who's written this amazing book. She's written almost a, a 10 books or more, So, but you're going to be blown away by her intelligence, her passion, and, and how she's motivated to serve you and to help you um, 
create a better life for yourself and protect you from the dangers that you may not even be aware. So we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hi, and welcome. My name is Mike Murphy, and I'm so happy and excited that you found my website. I really feel that if you spend a little time here and explore what we have going on, you're going to find a lot of free content that can really help take your life to another level. And maybe you'll purchase some of our programs or maybe donate to our nonprofit foundation and help us make the world a little better. The beautiful thing about the creation frequency in this law of manifestation, the way the mystery man taught it to me, I've never seen it taught anywhere since. We do it in a very unique way. We've created a powerful uh, course. And so I don't want to go too long here. I'm grateful that you found the site. I hope you explore our work. I hope you'll become a partner with us and either supporting our nonprofit work or buying the course for the creation frequency or listening to our radio show. However you ended up here, we're just glad you're here. Uh, give us your email address. Stay in touch with us. We really are 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 driven to make the world a better place, period, in the conversation. And to do that, we need everybody to wake up to what's really going on and, and, and realize that they've been programmed to think that they're less powerful than they really are. And it's all about taking our own personal power back, owning it, and going out there and getting healthy, strong, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and going out there and, and wherever they're suffering, uh, lend a hand and bring someone up and that will transform whatever is going on there and make the world just a much brighter, sweeter, more beautiful place. And that's my goal. That's my mission. And thank you for listening. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Welcome back, folks, to the Mike Murphy Unfiltered Show. We're so glad to have you here today. And we got a great guest coming up right now. Her name is Sue Busen. She's a research scientist, a mother of three boys. Uh, she's an expert in the art of tapping. And if you don't, we're not going to get into today's show. We'll do a show on that in the future. But if you're not familiar with it, it's a huge, powerful way to heal emotional issues and bring healing into your life. Um, she's an author of around 10 books. And she healed herself of lupus. Uh, she created a, a, something I've never heard of before, but it's called electroacupuncture, electro-acu- which she uses to really determine uh, where you are, you know, and help you heal what's going on. If you don't know, she, that she uses that to diagnose and then find ways to bring healing into your life. Um, but more importantly, she just wrote a new book, and that's why she's here today. It's called, I'm going to hold up the cover of it here because I read all my books on Kindle, but Tormented by Technology, The Silent Health Effects of Wireless electromagnetic radiation. Sue, thank you so much. And I know your life has been a little hectic the last 24 hours. So thank you so much for taking the time and joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Mike. I appreciate it. Our pleasure. So what inspired, and I know you wrote this book with your three sons, I believe. Yes, I did. Okay. How exciting. Congratulations to all four of you. So tell me, what, what was your motivation? What inspired you to go into this topic? Well, you know, it really started with a a challenge for me. In about uh, 2015, a smart meter was installed on my house, and I didn't know anything about the potential for any health risk related to that. You know, I was about 50 years old at the time, didn't have any major medical issues. I was on no medications. You know, life was going along very well. And all of a sudden, I realized that I couldn't sleep. So that was, became an issue that was ongoing. You know, if I did fall asleep, I'd wake up 10 minutes later and I would be wide awake. So when I would awaken, my mind would be racing and that is not who I was. So it was very unusual. I had no idea. You know, I did see a doctor, of course, at my age, then they said, oh, it's menopause, you know, it's just age, whatever. I don't really buy into that, but I didn't know what was going on, but I just didn't feel right. I was exhausted all the time. I had severe brain fog. I had issues with my memory. I was really born with a photographic memory. I pretty much remembered everything up until around this point. Um, And then I started getting more physical symptoms. I started getting a really fast resting pulse rate. 
and I would have spikes in blood pressure. And again, my blood pressure was always very low. So this was very abnormal for me. Then I developed a lymphatic tumor and um, swollen lymph nodes. I had a fever for six weeks that no one could explain. Again, I was starting to see some specialists and they were saying, well, maybe it's menopause again, you know, and I'm like, no, it's not a hot flash. It's a fever. I take my temperature and it's 101, 102. It's a real fever. Um, but anyhow, so I went on, you know, and I really didn't want to go with traditional medicine and get a diagnosis. I was not looking to figure out what was wrong. I knew my body was in serious distress, but what I wanted to do was find the cause for the problem. So, um, I progressed. I started getting visual disturbances. I had stomach pain. My stomach was distended. And um, I basically lived on organic applesauce for months because I couldn't eat anything. Anything made me sick. Um, got shortness of breath for no reason. I would be trying to fall asleep and I would just start like huffing and puffing like I had just run a marathon. So this is amazing. But how did you connect the dots to the smart meter and you, all these symptoms? Well, it's a really... Uh, interesting story. I was, I had spent four months in bed. I was literally, things were shutting down. My labs were all off. No one could figure out what was wrong. They wanted to start doing biopsies. I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to seek a traditional type of treatment. So I wanted to find the cause and I was just kind of laying in bed and I was in this kind of prayerful meditative state and just really asking questions like, why is this happening? Why am I living through this if I don't understand it? If I'm going to do anything about it, I need to know what it is. I, I have to make sense of it if I can use this to help myself or help other people. And out of nowhere, I heard this inner voice or whatever it was that said, it's the smart meter. Now, I had, I had no idea that the smart meter could cause trouble. I had never heard about it. So that was, uh, that was a real awakening for me. Well, that's incredible. Yeah, and then no, um, next step, I will ask what a smart meter is or something, and then I can. No, so here's here's what I want to know. So, um, so tell me this, because you know the smart meters. You know, I don't know if people even know what they are, but basically they put them in so they don't have to come out and read the meter, and they can do it via, via electronically, Wi-Fi or whatever. And so, tell me, do you know why that affects us? Why that makes us sick? What's going on that makes us sick? Yeah, I, I do. And, you know, just for anyone that doesn't know specifically, the, the smart meters are put in on our houses or apartments by the utility companies. And you can have a smart electric meter, a smart gas meter, a smart water meter. And like you said, they just transmit your data electronically. And they're, and they're used to track usage, but then they don't have to send someone out to read the meter. There's a number of issues with it. But one of the things that it does to our health is that it is constantly pulsing radio frequency radiation throughout your house. So the smart meter for the, like a, an electric meter in, uh, to be more specific is pulsing several times a minute. And it's at a level that's really high. Like I have all sorts of meters that I use. And um, mm. the problem is not only is it pulsing and transmitting through your house, but it's also riding, uh, it's causing a high frequency transient on your electrical wiring in your house. So it's distributing it throughout the electricity of your home. So it's coming through your walls and everything, even if it's, uh, you know, far from the meter itself. And, and, and allow me, and, and correct me where I'm wrong, but allow me to kind of explain to the audience. So, so folks, this is an electrical world. It's an electrical universe. And we are electrical beings made of atoms that have electrons. And so... When you have all this other stuff going on, even electricity that we plug into our wall, our blankets that we use to heat us, the Wi-Fi, the microwave, all this stuff is affecting all this stuff. And, and you know, atoms have a lot of space, so this can go through us because we're not as solid as we appear to be. And so this energy gets on and screws all these electrons up and creates these mutations in our cells. Is that pretty accurate? It is, yeah. And they think one of the mechanisms of how it harms us is it affects something called the voltage-gated calcium channels that are on our cells. So every cell will have this, and it causes too much calcium to flow into the cell. So from you know a medical perspective, that's sort of what's happening, and that's throwing off all of our cellular communication, all of our cellular function, our ability to detox, to assimilate nutrients. You know, there's a whole cascade of things that can go wrong once that balance in the cell becomes upset. And so that's for, for me, Susan, I have a iPad addiction. 
I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm on it all the time because I'm, I, I'm like you. I'm a researcher and I want to learn, right? And so I'm always on this thing, and but I'm noticing my, 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 my brain is getting fuzzier. My energy, you know, I got to watch all that stuff. Is that some of the side effects that people are experiencing right now? Absolutely. When you think about it, some of our major systems in our body run off of electricity. Our brain is all electro. Uh, electric impulses. Our heart is run by electrical impulses. You know, our nervous system, and it's causing a lot of people to have issues with brain fog, with dementia, Alzheimer's, attention issues, all of that. So people, you know, were initially attributing some of this to screen time. You know, you're just looking at your screen for three or four hours, so your head gets a little spacey, but it's actually causing physiological harm inside our bodies. And at some point, it gets too, to be too much. So one of the things that's happened to me is that I now develop sometimes tremors in my hand if I'm using something electronic. So I don't use a cell phone anymore. I can't. Um, I've also begun having seizures when I'm overexposed. So I have to be so careful about wow. monitoring and managing everything I do outside my home because my home is very shielded and protected. But when I go to a restaurant or if I go to, if I'm going to go to a conference, I have to really weigh, is it worth it? What's going to happen? You know, and it's cumulative. So, you know, if you fly somewhere, that beats you up. If you're in a, you know, a hotel with Wi-Fi and a bunch of people with cell phones, all those things accumulate and can make you really sick. Yeah, it's funny. When I was a young man, you know, we'd get on an airplane and you couldn't see past the first five rows because it's full of smoke. Okay, so to, so we've gotten rid of that, but now it's full of Wi-Fi electromagnetic frequencies that are just screwing our system, probably worse than the cigarettes. Who knows? I don't think we'll know for a while. Let me ask you this. How widespread? So all these problems that you went through, how widespread is it, widespread is it with other people in this country? Well, actually, it's very common. You know, they, they estimate that there's probably anywhere between three and 30%, depending on the study, that are already super sensitive like I am. So, I mean, that's a huge number when you think about it. So the condition is actually called electrohypersensitivity or EHS. And it's really marked by the knowledge that electromagnetic radiation is causing the problem. Most people are suffering from, you know, high blood pressure or low pulse rate or brain fog or attention issues or depression or anxiety, and they don't know what the cause is. So they're just being treated for the, the, for the symptom. But, you know, the symptom may very well be caused by your devices. Exactly. And I would imagine, you tell me, is that for children still developing, that it's even much worse for them. It is because their bodies are smaller. Um, their skull is smaller. Their brain and their bodies have more water and microwaves affect, you know, um, compositions that are more made up of more water. But the other thing that's really scary is that, you know, a lot of the schools now have Wi-Fi and girls are born with all of the egg follicles they'll ever have in their body. So their eggs wow. are being irradiated a lot of times from the time they're in the womb, you know, all day long in school. And this uh, microwave frequencies cause genetic damage. They cause mutations and um, mitochondrial DNA damage. So the issue becomes, you know, what's going to happen to them in 20 years when they want to have a baby or maybe, you know, it might be their grandchildren because this type of DNA is passed on through generations. So some of the studies are showing rats after three generations are no longer fertile. Wow. So and then there's also an issue, you know, a lot of men or, or boys keep their phone in their pocket. Right, right. And um, there's a lot of studies showing that it affects sperm quality, motility, mobility. And there's actually a sperm bank in New York that said only about 10 percent of the samples they receive are viable. And most of the people that donate are college boys, you know. So mm. um, it's really kind of scary what's going to happen with us as a species because we're being very deeply affected by this. It's, it's super scary. Before the break, let me ask you this question. Did, did you, I'm going to assume you removed your smart meter and what yeah. was that like? And, and then what happened to your physical well-being after that? Okay. This removing the smart meter was a huge step. And I live in Illinois and our, our uh, state, our power company here now allows you to opt out. And they say it's only going to be for about two more years and then they'll be mandatory. I had to pay a fee to have it removed and I had to pay a monthly fee to not have it. Um, it's affected my readings very much, like it's been much better. My health has improved. That was a huge step. But I've also become hypersensitive, and that's very common. A lot of people that I've interviewed have become more sensitive after a smart meter was installed. So by having mine removed, it helped a lot. I still pick up 
the smart meter pulses from my neighbor's smart meter. So now I'm at the point of, do I move or do I, you know, see if maybe I can pay to remove my neighbor's smart meter. Wow. So, I mean, it's really a bummer and it really stinks that, you know, we're wow. being injured by this and yet we have to pay to not be harmed. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to ask Sue, what can we do to measure our home? What kind of devices can we get to measure? See what's going on, what she's done to, how, how does she live without her cell phone? And, and what we can do to protect ourselves, our health, and, and most importantly, of our children. So we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a special guest today. Her name is Sue Busen, and she's written this amazing, incredible book. It's available on Amazon. I highly suggest you get it. You can buy a physical copy or get a Kindle. It's called Tormented by Technology, and she was, and she took action, and she's now she's telling you what you can do to protect your health. Sue, thank you so much for being our guest today. I have to ask you, so I, I and, and by the way, she's on YouTube too with some really good videos. And so I saw one this morning where you had a, some sort of meter and you were measuring the electromagnetic frequency in your home or someone's home. Tell me about yeah. that. Okay, so once I got that message that the smart meter was causing my problem, I decided the only way I would really know was to start ordering meters. So I ordered a bunch of meters and um, one was a body voltage meter. I tested my body voltage and it was off the charts. It was 15, over 15 volts. Well, tell so me, tell know. me what that means. So, 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 so we always have a body voltage and mm -hmm. which should be X. What, what should that number be? Usually about 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.1, something like that. It should be very low. And you tested yours and it, what, what happened? Over 15. Wow. Super high. And then did you test your home and all that? Yeah. So then I bought a bunch of other meters. Um, you know, just, I have like just simple little radio frequency meters. What's the name of that in case our l listeners want to get one? This is a Coronet meter and there's links to these on my website. Okay, great. Okay. So yeah. yeah. And let, let's, let's tell the folks right now how, so tell them your website, how to get your information, so on and so forth while we're doing it right now. Okay, sure. So that website would be tormentedbytechnology.com. And my, my main website is tapintobalance.com. Awesome. So folks, please check this out for your own health and well-being and that of your loved ones. Okay. So, so now you, you've got these other meters and now you're checking stuff in your house. Tell me, tell yeah, me. I'm measuring things. I'm seeing what's setting the meters off. I'm turning, you know, turning things off, unplugging things. And I was blown away because I had no idea. I was a former research scientist. So I get the whole scientific perspective, but this was really disturbing for me. And I was, I thought I'm onto something huge. I'm going to win the Nobel prize. This is like a huge scientific breakthrough. And then I started looking online and I started finding literally thousands of studies that show that these frequencies can cause harm. And I was blown away because no one ever hears about it. You don't hear about this on the news, as you said earlier in your in intro. So I felt like it was really an injustice. You know, how could there be all this proof? And yet no one is willing to talk about it. So that really got me, um, um, fired up, if you will. And then, you know, I had, and it's important to note that I had never heard about this before my smart meter was installed. Mm. Um, I never heard of anyone getting sick from a smart meter or any type of wireless device. So people might think it's all placebo effect, but I really didn't know anything about it, you know, until after the fact. Well, I'll tell you, I think it's getting a lot of coverage now, at least in alternative media and Facebook posts and stuff like that. Um, and, and along those lines, let me just ask you this. I mean, do, when you're speaking to others or talking to people about that, are you ever like, oh, you're a tinfoil, aluminum foil hat person or conspiracy theorist? I mean, do you get that? Yeah. You know, some people just, they, they don't say anything or they avoid you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, here she comes. She's going to tell me to turn my phone off. And um, it's, it's difficult, too, because, you know, like I have three sons, young adult men that, um, can't use a cell phone around me, you know, so mm -hmm. they had to learn to adjust and um, You know people do think you're crazy. I had one uh, Physician who was actually a personal friend and he said sue people are gonna think you're crazy And I said well, you know I really don't care what I would care more about is that they would know at some point that I knew this and I didn't do anything about it Yeah, you know? well and, and listen if you really study this, I mean, it's just pure common sense I mean just like this microwave that I'm staring at in my kitchen right here I mean this stuff harms us and it ruins the food which we put in our body. I mean, we, 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 we're you know, we've gotten to a point where we're not very conscious about how we treat ourselves and, and what we put into this only vessel that houses our heart and our soul to carry us through this little thing, physical experience. And, and so 
but this is a big topic. And so, so tell us, tell us about 5G. Cause I mean, that's getting all the press right now. And, and I hear that's even worse. Yeah, it is. And first, let me just quickly explain G. People please. Get Yo, conf- thank you. Yes, please. Yeah. People get confused between G and gigahertz. Like, um, you know, they might think that a 5G Wi-Fi router, which now they're coming out with, is is uh, 5G, but it's actually 5 gigahertz, and it's really different. So uh, the Gs are generation. So we've had, we're coming up on our fifth generation of wireless technology. We had the first generation, which was just the first generation because it was the only one that existed at the time, which was cell communication, being able to make calls from a cell phone. Then we had 2G, which also gave us the ability to send text messages. And then we got 3G, which gave us the ability to not only talk and text, but also to send some data back and forth. 4G improved upon it and allowed us to send much more data and at faster speeds. And now 5G is promising to be able to send data at even faster speeds and downloads and um, transmission speeds will be so fast. But the thing is, the human brain is really not even capable of picking up the changes at that high of speed. And the problems are that the 5G frequencies are higher frequency ranges and they're considered millimeter waves. They're very tiny waves. So there's a waveform and the millimeter waves operate in maybe the 10 um, gigahertz to 300 gigahertz range. And a gigahertz is a billion cycles per second or a billion isolations per second. So, I mean, the things are going off so fast. I mean, we can't even imagine, but you know, as we talked about earlier, our bodies run on electrical, electrical impulses. So these frequencies are messing up our health and these millimeter waves have been studied for years and used in military warfare you know, since the Cold War. So the government in the U.S. is currently using millimeter waves in a system for crowd control. Which is 5G, so, right? They'll use 5G yeah. and they'll just blast it out of speakers to get people to disperse. Is that correct? Exactly. It's called the active denial system. So it's and, used as a military weapon, and yet we're going to start blasting it all over. And the big problem is because the waves are so small, they don't travel well. They don't right. travel through buildings and that. So they need to have a huge infrastructure for this. So, so yeah, I'm told, I'm told like these new towers are going to be really close to one another and dispersed. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be putting them on every block. They predict about every two to 10 homes will need a tower. So, if, you know, if it depends how close your houses are together. But if you're in an area that's highly, you know, got a lot of dense population, you could have a, a transmitter put up in your yard and you have no say as to where it can go. Um, that's the bad part. The federal law prohibits local governments from regulating the wireless infrastructure based on health effects. So all of that has been turned over to the FCC, and they've pretty much given free reign to the industry to put these cell towers up anywhere they want. And then the other part of it is that their um, permits have been granted for a bunch of companies to start launching 5G by satellite. So they've got the permits to put the satellites up, in which case it'll be broadcast over the whole entire world. And there will be nowhere to get away from it. You can't escape from it if you want to. You can't wear your tinfoil hat and be safe because it's going to be everywhere. And we have no choice in that matter. Now, the people creating these products, and I'm sure the government's involved in the military and DARPA and, and these companies that are doing this. Um, what, what kind of research do they do? What kind of testing do they do? I mean, are they required to like test this for a period of time and say, hey, or what, do you know anything about that? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, 5G has never been tested for human safety. These frequencies are being rolled out and deployed on us without ever having one single study that proves that it's safe. So you can ask them, you know, prove to me that this is safe. And they can't. There's no study that proves it. They can't tell you what is the safe level. You know, how many hours is it safe for your children to be on Wi-Fi? There is no way they can tell you that because they don't study it. At the risk of sounding like a crazy person, I'm going to use use an analogy and then I want to make a statement and then I'll ask a question. But so so it seems to me like, you know, um, I'll do it this way. They, they got us addicted to these. I, I, I promise you we're addicted. Okay? And 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 so and then everything's speeding up. So we you know, we get more and more impatient. So so. We're allowing them to bring this technology so that we can get faster, whatever, waste of time, really, and without knowing what it's going to do to 
our health. You brought up a very important topic, fertility and, and our children and, and what it's doing to their brains and, and their cells. I mean, it's, it remi- and this was the analogy I'm going to use. You know, they got everybody hooked on Coca-Cola that was full of corn syrup and now corn syrup's and everything. And now everybody's obese. And, you know, folks, we got to wake up and pay attention, you know. And here's the other thing. I mean, they got us so busy, you know, uh, the mom has to work, everybody's working. And, you know, just to pay the damn taxes and pay the rising inflation that they say there's no inflation and, and there's no return on our investment, you know, getting negative interest rates. So the whole thing is aspiring out of control. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, the whole purpose of the show is to wake up and say, hey, what is really going on here before it's too late? And so thank you for writing this book. Thank you for bringing this awareness to all of us. And let's touch a little bit what we can do, you know, because it's not going away. I mean, they're not spending all this dough to take it down next month. Okay. So, so what can we do to protect ourselves? Okay. Um, you know, there's really no magic cure. For me right now, what I found and what I believe is that our biggest protection is reducing our exposure. So you have to cut down on the time you spend on your devices or you have to have them wired. Like right now, I'm on a laptop. I have the Wi-Fi turned off. I have the um, I have the, uh, the laptop on airplane mode and I'm connected by an Ethernet cord. So mine is my computer right now is not generating any radio frequency radiation. So we have to do things like that. We have to turn our Wi-Fi off. If you need to have it in your house, turn it off at night. If you need to, put it on a timer, you know. Just make sure that you can cut down as much as you possibly can. Keep your phone on airplane mode whenever you don't need it. You know, take a break from your electronics. You can... And and, and get into nature. Absolutely. Leave all that stuff at home. Get on a hiking trail and just walk. And and take a day off. Just, Just, sorry. You know, it's so frustrating. I had a... You know, it's crazy. You know, this stuff was supposed to make our life easier. It's not, it's making it 10 times harder. For example, I had a buddy, you know, and, and he wanted to know if I could golf, you know, and, and I don't respond in 30 minutes. Says, Hello, where, what, what's going on? Well, dude, you know, come on, man. I mean, that's the problem, you know, and it, it's, you can't even stop working. It's always in bombardment. And then when you got 8 million little, you know, things to do here that pop up in every you know, million ways to communicate. Now you want to get rid of this stuff so it's not on your, you know, it's getting crazy if you ask me. So, it is, and it's so distracting. What, what's these things, these, is it Far, Far, Faraday cages Faraday or something? Faraday cages. What, what's up yeah. with that? Okay, there's different things that create Faraday cages. I actually have some glasses here that yeah. I sometimes, if I have to put on Wi-Fi for any reason, I'm like if yeah. I'm in a whole hotel and I need to check a message, I'll put these on just to protect my eyes. There's a, there's a metal mesh instead of lenses on these. So there's fabrics, there's metal meshes that the frequencies cannot penetrate. Yeah. That's for like the Wi-Fi and cell phones and that sort of thing. So you can actually put, you know, your phone in a Faraday cage and then it can't radiate you. you but if put you put it in airplane mode, is that the same? Uh, airplane mode is good, but you also have to turn off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Otherwise, you can still be getting... So got that, folks? Hey, spend most of the day with with uh, Wi-Fi off, right? Bluetooth off and airplane mode. And then that thing, and then check it periodically, you know, every few hours to see if there's anything you got to do. Does that make yeah. sense? Absolutely. Yeah. And right, that's what got- my kids have to do because, you know, they're trying to Snapchat and do all this stuff right. and, you know, and run businesses off their phones. And, you know, they have to turn it off and just, you know, turn it on every few hours and check it. Oh, so, I mean, hey, you know, the technology is crazy, but it allows everybody and their brother to have a radio show so, <laughs> or, or do a Facebook Live. So, oh, my goodness, what's going on? So, okay, we're going to take a short break, folks. And, and when we come back, I, Sue just put on those glasses. I want to talk to her about this blue light and, and, and what that does to, cause that comes into our eyes and I want to see what she has in that. And, uh, wow, this has been fascinating and there's a lot to learn. So we'll be right back. Stay with us. Hi, and welcome. My name is Mike Murphy, and I'm so happy and excited that you found my website. I really feel that if you spend a little time here and explore what we have going on, you're going to find a lot of free content that can really help take your life to another level. And 
maybe you'll purchase some of our programs or maybe donate to our nonprofit foundation and help us make the world a little better. Uh, after my wife passed away, another young woman came into my life that had stage uh, four breast cancer. And she was the same age as my wife when she had passed away, age 38. Her name was Amanda. And shortly after my wife died, so there I was in the same hospitals, doing the same procedures, going through the same kind of stuff. And it was very surreal. And unbeknownst to me at the time, uh, that was the beginning of what is now called the Love for Margot Foundation, which we started in January 2012. And we initially started out helping women with uh, with cancer that were below the poverty line, didn't have their own resources. So we would provide them with financial grants and stuff like that. And so uh, you can go to the Love for Margo site and learn more about what we do there because we've transitioned that to help youth now as well. So I don't want to go too long here. I'm grateful that you found the site. I hope you explore our work. I hope you'll become a partner with us and either supporting our nonprofit work or buying the course for the creation frequency or listening to our radio show. However you ended up here, we're just glad you're here. Uh, give us your email address, stay in touch with us. We really are, are, are driven to make the world a better place period in the conversation. And to do that, we need everybody to wake up to what's really going on and, and, and realize that they've been programmed to think that they're less powerful than they really are. And it's all about taking our own personal power back, owning it, and going out there and getting healthy, strong, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and going out there and, and wherever they're suffering, uh, lend a hand and bring someone up. And that will transform whatever is going on there and make the world a just a much brighter, sweeter, more beautiful place. And that's my goal. That's my mission. And thank you for listening. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Murphy Unfiltered. And we're uh, blessed today to have a special guest, Sue Busen, who's written this incredible book called Tormented by Technology. And she's written quite a few other books, too, so you can find those online. And before the break, and Sue put on a pair of glasses. And I've been studying um, a, a neurosurgeon by the name of Dr. Jack Cruz. And he talks a lot about, you know, this blue light that comes off these screens. And, you know, he encouraged me to buy... Uh, blue blocker glasses that I should be wearing right now, frankly. And, but more importantly, to get outside and get that, get that sunlight when, especially when the sun is rising. So, so are you up to speed on any of that kind of stuff, how it enters into the eyes and the, I always yeah. screw this word up, but Carcanian rhythms. And can you, can you elaborate on that for us? Yep, absolutely. First of all, let's well, see, I have so many different glasses. It's, it's like a, a joke here, but <laughs> the glasses that I had put on earlier for anyone that's watching the video or the live stream, are blocking radio frequency and that's different these do not block blue light so these are my blue light glasses uh -huh. <laughs> so all of us uh, tinfoil hat people have all these little devices hey, let, me, let me ask you this about the other glasses so are you telling me that this radio frequency which is everywhere in my house we i just bought one of these stupid smart houses and uh, but so that the radio frequency can go in through our eyes and into our system Oh, yeah. Well, it can affect your whole body. So, like, if you have these glasses on, it's only blocking the radiation that's coming in front of me toward my eyes. It's not right. blocking what's hitting my forehead or the rest of my body. I yeah. actually have full garments that I have to wear when I travel that are made out of silver. I'm actually blessed to wear them because they, they help me so much when I'm in a plane or anything. But... Um, the radiation penetrates our body. It touches our skin cells. It, when it comes in contact with our skin, you know, it puts things into a stress response. It penetrates our brain and the pituitary gland gets, um, or the pineal gland, I'm sorry, gets irradiated from the Wi-Fi and the radiation. It also picks up the radiation of daylight and blue light. So it never knows when you're looking at blue light that it's nighttime. Right. So if you're using a phone or a computer at night, your pineal gland is being triggered that it's daytime. So it's really disrupting our sleep cycle. So I actually wear um, a pair of blue blocker glasses that help to block out, they filter out the blue light. So our body makes melatonin 
from about 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. And it's really important not only to regulate your sleep patterns, but it's anti-cancer, it's protective in that method, it's really good for our health. It's really crucial. And so many as and so many of us are not getting it because we're on our devices, we're checking our phone all night long, or we're watching TV at night. So I know a lot of people recommend at like eight o'clock at night or maybe two hours before you would go to bed, put on a blue blocker glass, especially if you're watching TV or if you have any LED lights, um, you know, or you're using a computer or a cell phone. And have you done any research of, of the sunlight and, and the power of that to heal? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a huge proponent for nature. I was an environmental <laughs> biologist. Getting out in nature is so important. Grounding on the earth, seeing the sun, especially in the morning when you see the sunrise, right. it's very protective for your brain. And it kind of, you know, the earth has natural frequencies and our bodies are supposed to be in tune with those frequencies. Yeah. And what we're doing is screwing that up by being... Yeah constantly in man-made frequencies and never having our feet touch the ground, never having our eyes see the sunlight. You know, and I'm not saying look at the sun, right. but just be out in the daylight. It's right. really important. It's good for our brain, our health, for every part of our body, our spirit. And then that's how the body produces vitamin D, which is most, one of the most powerful vitamins for healing. So, um, wow. Well, you are, I mean, I... I have to say, I really got into watching you on YouTube, reading your book, studying what you've been doing, uh, because you are a researcher and and you are an in-depth researcher. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I know some of you out there are thinking, oh, come on, the government wouldn't do this. They wouldn't allow us. They wouldn't expose us to this. Okay, well, just start Googling that and do a little research because um, no one's our friend out there. We have to be our own health advocate and we have to be protect ourselves and we have to protect our family. And and these are getting more and more dangerous times. And this is just one subject of a, about a dozen of stuff that's really affecting the quality of our life right now. Uh, but, and th but this is maybe one of the biggest ones. Um, Sue, are you familiar with uh, geoengineering or chemtrails? Yes, I am. And does, does, the, does the 5G or any of this stuff interact with all those uh, chemicals that they're spraying in the air? Yeah, actually, um, these frequencies affect our blood-brain barrier. Our blood-brain barrier protects our brain from things that might be in our body, maybe heavy metals. And, and, also, and also, folks, it protects our spinal column because once you break the blood-brain barrier, then you're right access to the cerebral spinal fluid, which, which protects our spinal cord. So keep going, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting that you brought that up because this interferes with the blood-brain barrier. It interferes with children's development of their blood-brain barrier. So all these moms that you see texting, you know, with their phone right over their belly, you know, they're destroying the chances that their children will have an intact barrier. So anyway, you know, with the chemtrails, there's um, the idea that they contain barium and aluminum salts. So, you know, if your blood-brain barrier is open and you're getting aluminum into your brain, you're really increasing your chance of getting Alzheimer's or some sort of dementia in the future. So, um, yeah, there is a correlation and, you know, it's just all the more reason to, to uh, limit your time on your Wi-Fi and use your devices in a safer way. So when you were, you had these symptoms, you were very ill, you discovered the uh, cause and then you started to protect yourself against the cause. Did you do anything else as far as nutrition or water or diet or anything like that? Yes. Um, you know, I do this sensitivity screening as part of the electroacupuncture. So I know the things that I have to stay away from. I know the preservatives and the food dyes and, you know, all that stuff. So I, I have a pretty clean diet. You know, I eat organic when I can and I know what I need to, to avoid personally. Um, but I also do take some supplements, a couple that to me have been the most protective. And I believe everyone's body is different. Everyone's need for um, nutrition varies, you know, according to their chemistry. Yeah. Um, but definitely things that will keep your pH up, which will be your next talk. Um, you know, a lot of green leafy vegetables, a lot of you know, living food, food that's as close to nature as possible. The supplements that I like the most for this issue is um, vitamin C, vitamin D, and a, a material called an, like an NRF2 activator. That seems to be uh, really helpful. I notice a big difference in my brain function. If I skip it by accident or just by choice or I get busy, if I skip it for a day or two, my brain function really declines and it's noticeable. 
So, so can you repeat that for me? Yep, so C, C, C and D and what else? NRF2. So it's the letter N, R, F, and then the number two. And this is a supplement, a dietary supplement. Yes. And this really impacts the quality of your thinking. Yes, awesome. absolutely. For me, it's great. You know, it might not work for everyone. I'm not a doctor. You know, I can't diagnose or treat or give a medical suggestion. But for me, it's been really helpful. And then I also use shungite which is a black mineraloid material that I get from Russia. So I have like a ring here and a bracelet. I didn't know this was going to be a show and tell, but <laughs> uh, I have it on anyhow. And that is just very grounding for me. It really helps. And then I also, you know, I like to spend time in nature. When I find that my brain is really going downhill, and I believe I probably would be diagnosed with dementia had I not figured this out, mm. um, I go to a little cabin in the woods and I spend three or four days there and just hike and spend time outside and I put my feet on the earth and it makes a huge difference for me. So for all you listeners out there that, that are like I was about 12, 13 years ago, where I would have thought this was crazy talk and that, you know, the Shungite stuff and that stuff. And, you know, uh, well, since I started waking up and spent a lot of time in research, this is not crazy talk, ladies and gentlemen, this, this stuff can, greatly impact the quality of your life if you will protect yourself and, and do these things to, to because listen, co what causes illness is toxicity. And it could be mental toxicity, emotional toxicity, physical toxicity, but we are being bombarded with toxicity in today's world. And if you don't do something to protect yourself, then you're going to get sick. And then you're going to be at the mercy of the medical profession. And, you know, do some research on that. Do your own research. But so this is not crazy talk. This woman is really, really bright and she has a big heart. And what, in doing research, she said, you know, um, when you know something is wrong, the people are being lied to and it's causing harm, you have to act. And she quotes Martin Luther King. And uh, so touch on that. Why, what, what's your real big purpose in this? Well, I just feel like there was a reason why I've been impacted and I really feel that, you know, we do have that responsibility to do something about it. You know, I would not want to get to the end of my life and wish that I would have done more. Um, so to me, it's just really important to, to do what I can to educate people. And, you know, I really don't care if people think I'm crazy. Um, the Martin Luther King quotes, I can give them to you right now. I just pulled them up. Go when ahead. does our lives begin to end? The day we become silent about the things that matter. And the other one is the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. And I think those are really powerful quotes. You know, what do you do? Uh, what, you know, what's your story? What do you do with the information that you have? You know, you can, you can, you know, turn the other cheek and just ignore it, or you can do something about it. And I think it's really important. I would not want to get to the end of my life and not have done anything about this. Amen. God bless you for that. So Sue, we got to go, but before we do, if someone out there is listening and, and they've been touched with this or they have these symptoms and they want to work with you, I know you have some techniques that can help people, you know, figure out what's going on. I know you're an expert in this tapping. And of course you have all this brilliant research here. So if someone wants to get a hold of you, work with you, how can they find you? Um, they can go to tapintobalance.com. That's the best place. Um, they can email me at Susan at tapintobalance.com. Awesome. And I can't thank you enough. And I, and I hope uh, when we do a show on tapping, you'll come back on. I know Jack Hanfield's written a few books on that as well. And hopefully we can get him as well. And because this tapping is a powerful healing uh, tool that's right there and easy to use and, and learn. So thank you so much. It's so good to see you again. And I can't wait to have you on again. Thank you so much, Mike. And thank you for the work that you're doing and bringing this really critical information to the public. I appreciate thank, it. Thank you. All right. See you later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we just have a couple minutes and then we're uh, going to take a small break and when we're going to come back, we're going to have Dr. Robert Young, who's just an amazing, brilliant man when it comes to nutrition and, and healing from cancer and what cancer really is, and you're going to love it. So remember, the this show is sponsored by The Creation Frequency. I'm the author, and uh, you can go to Mike Murphy Unfiltered to learn more. I just want you to know, the online course... Uh, retails for $397. People are taking it all over the world and, and having dramatic results. And it, it's very simple teaching and it's very ancient teaching. And it was taught to me by the mystery man. And it's taught in a way that just 
is very easy to grasp and it's not woo woo. Okay. It's just very practical stuff that will make brilliant sense if you take the course. And so the course, if you want to take the course, you can just put a promo code radio, all caps, R A D I O, and you get a $200 discount. So you buy the course for 197. I paid much, much more for this information back in the early 1980s. And I've added about 500% more to this. So it's a bargain. Believe me, it's a great value. And we also have an app that's free at iTunes or Google Play. And if you buy the course for the $200 discount, $197, we will take $100 of that and we will donate it in your name and you'll get the tax write-off to the Love from Margo uh, Foundation where we work with women with breast cancer and we work with at-risk at youth, teaching them real-life skills to go out and make the world a better place. So go to Mike Murphy Unfiltered, hit the creation frequency link, buy the course, buy the book, download the app, and create the life of your dreams. We'll be back in just a few minutes with our special guest, Dr. Robert Young. You've been listening to Mike Murphy, unfiltered, unfettered, unflinching, unafraid, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Thanks for tuning in, and don't miss the next unfiltered show next Thursday from noon to 2 Pacific time on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Mike Murphy and a cast of powerful guests strip away the veil of limitation using the groundbreaking practices of the creation frequency. Tune in to unleash the power of your mind. Open the immense energy of the heart to manifest an awesome life filled with true health, wealth, confidence, gratitude, and joy. Unfiltered truth, unfiltered frequency, unfiltered possibilities on Mike Murphy Unfiltered Radio. For more information on Mike and his work, visit MikeMurphyUnfiltered.com.